Hi there, this is Tanya, ready for some chair yoga. So all you need is a chair with a nice hard back, hard seat. So like a dining room chair, or I like to use a folding chair. If you happen to have a yoga mat and want to put it under your chair, you sure can. But when I usually teach chair yoga classes, we don't have yoga mats. So if you don't have a yoga mat, don't worry about it. So go ahead and join me seated on your chair. We're gonna go ahead and sit, make ourselves nice and comfy. So wiggle and squirm your way in so your back is supported. Wiggle those legs and just let them relax. Wiggle your shoulders. Arms can hang heavy or you can set those hands on your thighs. And then go ahead and close your eyes. We're gonna find our nice, long, deep yoga breath. So moving that air in and out through our nose, if that's an option. Of course, if it's not an option, breathing through the mouth. And then just thinking about what brought you to yoga right now. Setting your intention to work towards, maybe away from something. Gonna move a little bit of everything today, focusing on those knees. They get a little extra TLC with this class. But thinking about what you personally want to add into that. And then keeping in mind with yoga, you get to do or not do whatever your body needs with each movement, each breath within that movement. So always feeling free to take a break do more or to do less. Your next inhalation, let those eyes open up. As you exhale, walking those sit bones forward. You don't need the support of the back of your chair. And bring those legs nice and wide so we have room to wiggle our pelvis around. We're going to inhale, sit up nice and tall. And then as we exhale, just let our right ear drop to right shoulder. Coming to center with that head, chin to chest, left ear to left shoulder, and then gently looking up, keep, trying to keep the back of your neck long, so we're not going to crunch those cervical vertebrae. Just starting with some gentle neck circles, feeling free to stop if you find anywhere that needs a little more time and attention. And then see if the shoulder wants to drop with the head. Knee circles a little bigger. Maybe see if the hips want to go. Again, making these your own. So they can be big, they can be small. They can stop anywhere that needs a little more TLC. And then if you made the circles bigger, making them smaller. And next time your chin's towards your chest, we're going to reverse direction. We're going to drop that head to the left, chin to chest, and then to the right on our way up. Again, keeping that neck nice and long as we gently look up, so we're not going to compress those little vertebrae in our neck. Checking and seeing if the shoulders want to come in on the rolls, maybe the rib cage, maybe even really leaning so the hips get in on the thighs. If you find anywhere that needs a little extra time and attention, stay there, wiggle, breathe, move slower there. Your first instinct might be to move quickly past that. those circles big, smallerizing them, working your way back to sitting nice and tall. Legs can be in any comfortable position. I like mine a little closer together. If you feel good with them apart, keep them apart. Exhale those hands down by your side. Inhale, reach your palms up, wings up. Hands face each other. Exhale down and forward. 
keep them facing each other. Inhale up. Hands can be on the outside of those legs or we might feel better inside. Palms down, wings come to the outside. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, sweep the wings up. Keep the palms facing each other. Exhale, reach them down and forward. Keep them facing each other. Inhale, forward and up. Palms toward the earth. Exhale them down. Now, like we say in preschool, turning up your brains to high power. Right palm toward the sky out by your side. Left palm is going to be either between the legs or by your legs. Left hand is going to come up in center. Right arm is going to be away. So we're going to do a hybrid, half and half. So inhale up. Switch. Left palm down. Right hand is going to come to center. Next, exhale down. Now stay where you are. Let's lift that right palm up. Inhale up. Switch. Exhale down. Stay here, but lift that right palm up. Inhale up. Switch. Exhale down. Oh, looking good. Flip that left palm up. Inhale up. Switch. Exhale down. Roll those shoulders. Up, back and down, up, back and down. Just the right shoulder, really bend that right elbow. Just the left shoulder, really bend that left elbow. And then big breath in at center, spine is long. With the next exhale, drop that right ear to right shoulder. Right shoulder's heavy. And then maybe that right hand just gently sits on the head. This might be enough, or that left arm can reach down and out. Big, deep breaths here. Feel free to rotate that head. If this isn't getting the spot in your neck that needs a twist. Inhale, head and arm up. Exhale, right arm down, head drops left. Give that left shoulder a shake, make sure it's relaxed. Maybe left hand sits on top of the head. Maybe if you need more, right arm reaches down and out. Feel free to rotate that nose a little more earthward. Not pulling on the neck. Just being nice and safe. Next, inhale, head and both arms come up. As you exhale, keep the spine long, chin to chest. And sit on the back of that head. Again, just adding a little weight. We're not pulling. And if your tail tucked under and your whole spine rounded, lengthen that spine back out. Next, inhale, open up those elbows, push your head back into your hands. See if your shoulder blades will melt down your back. If your lower ribs kind of splayed open, bring them back together. And we'll move through that a couple times. We're going to exhale, look down. Spine is long. Inhale, open it up. Exhale, look down. Inhale, open it up. We're going to get a little sideways. Exhale, look down, sitting up straight and tall. Inhale, up and right. Really bring that right elbow back. Push your head back into your hands. Elbows are moving apart. Big, deep breath. Next, inhale, come back to center. Still in that little back bend. And then as you exhale, left elbow back and left. Elbows open, head pushes back into those hands. You might notice you're pushing into your feet. That's totally fine. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, look at right. Way right, way right. Exhale, center. Inhale, look at left. Exhale, center. Drop that chin to your chest again. Let those arms come down. Gently shake that head no. And with an inhale, bringing your head back to center. 
Coming down to those legs, we're gonna hold on under that right thigh and we get to be a teeter-totter here. We don't want the leg to have to work at all. The left leg can push into the mat, but right leg's relaxed. So we're gonna straighten up that spine, lean back a little bit so our right foot comes off the mat, and then just let it shake. Kind of lubricate those knees, maybe a little circle. Knees should be happy. Circle the other direction. And then while we're here supporting that leg, go ahead and roll that ankle. Now that leg gets to work a little bit. Roll it the other way. Next, exhale, bring that right foot back to the mat. Now you can activate that right leg. Shake out those hands. Holding that under that left thigh, we get to be a teeter-totter. Lean back. So that left leg, it's nice and loosey-goosey. Wiggle it back and forth. Maybe a little bit of a circle again. Make sure the knee is happy. The other direction. The leg's gonna work a little bit. Roll that left ankle. Roll it the other way. Next, exhale, left foot gets to come to the mat. Shake out those hands. And then interlace the fingertips or the hands again. Elbows come together. Elbows are about shoulder height. Roll those wrists. Roll in the other direction. Slow your roll. Switch with thumbs on top. Hands stay interlaced, elbows apart, roller coaster those arms. If the shoulders have had enough, bring it low. If the shoulders want in on the front, bring it high. Stop, switch directions. Maybe low, maybe high. And shake them, shake them, shake them. All right, now hands can rest on our thighs. We'll be heavy down by our side. Body doesn't get to lean, so core is active. We're sitting up nice and tall. We're going to inhale that right leg up. The higher and the straighter the knee, the heavier the leg is going to feel. So you decide how high you want it. And then point that foot, point those toes. Three pulses up with the leg. One, two, three. If you were pulsing back, two, three, sit up tall. One more time. One, two, three. Now spread those toes out, pull them apart, keep the toes spread out, pulled apart, push through the heels. So now we're in a flex position. Body's tall, body's not going to move. Pulse that leg up three times. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Bring that leg down, shakey, shakey. Sitting up tall, we're not going to move that body at all. Straighten and lift that left leg. Remember the higher and the straighter, the heavier the leg's going to feel. Point that whole foot, point through the toes. Without moving the body, three pulses up. One, two, three. Notice if you were pulsing back, straight yourself up. One more time, pointed. One, two, three. Now activate those toes, spread them out, flex them back, peel them apart. Now push through the heel, toes are still active, so we're flexed, sitting up tall, and three pulses. One, two, three, one more time. One, two, three, bring it down, shaky shake. We're gonna go back to the shoulders and hands. If you've built up a little feet, heat, feel free to, hey, you're at home, you can take off whatever you want. Core is active, we're sitting up nice and tall. We're gonna inhale, sweep our wings up, Exhale, those arms, the cactus. So working towards right angles, we're gonna work with the brain and the fingers. If the fingers aren't behaving, bring them where you can see them. If the shoulders have had enough, hands can rest on our thighs and do this too. So we're just gonna wiggle our pinkies, wiggle our ring fingers, wiggle our middle fingers, wiggle our pointer fingers, wiggle our thumbs, wiggle them all, shine them out, now we're going to bring pointer finger to thumbs, and then middle finger to thumbs, ring finger to thumbs, pinky finger to thumbs, 
Wiggle them, wiggle them, wiggle them. Roll those wrists. Roll them the other direction. Notice that those elbows came lower than shoulder height and you were trying to keep them up, bring them back up. You told them to go lower, that's just fine. Now, flight water towards me, towards you, behind you, to the sky, away from you. Big breath in, arms up. Exhale those arms down. Now bringing those feet so they're turned out, bringing them a little wider, maybe heels about shoulder width apart. Again, we're gonna sit up nice and tall. We're not gonna lean back. We're not gonna lean sideways. So we want even weight on those sit bones. We're gonna straighten and lift that right leg now out at an angle. The higher and the straighter, the heavier. Notice if you went left like a teeter-totter, bring yourself back upright. Point those toes. So knees pointing maybe a little back behind you. So inner thigh gets in on the front. Three pulses up. One, two, three. Let's do it again. That was fun. One, two, three. Activate those toes. Spread them, spread them, spread them. Push through the heel. Your flex now. Three lifts. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Three, exhale that leg down. Ooh, that's a lot of work. Notice if you're sneaking back up to upright. I was. Probably not very sneaky if I told you about it. All right, sitting nice and tall. We're not gonna lean back, we're not gonna lean right. Straighten-ish and lift that left leg. Left knee is pointed left, maybe a little behind us. Point that whole foot, point the toes, point the toes, and three pulses up. One, two, Three, how fun was that? Do it again. One, two, three. Activate those toes, spread them out. Push through the heel. Three pulses up. One, two, three. One more time. One, two, three. Leg down, shakety, shakety. Bring those legs even wider. We're gonna come into a little side body stretch. So right wrist, Maybe pushes on that right knee. If you're really flexible, you might eventually be on that forearm, which is fine too. We're gonna inhale, body's long, left arm comes up. Keep the shoulder nice and open. As we exhale, lean right, that arm reaches over, but don't cross it over your face. Left shoulder's back. Push into that left sit bone. See if you can move those left ribs apart. And if you were wearing your right shoulder as an earring, slide that right shoulder blade down your back. Reach longer. Inhale, back up. Now that left wrist is going to come to our left knee, maybe pushing it back gently. You might eventually be on that forearm. We're going to inhale, right arm up, chest stays open. As you exhale, lean it left. Again, not covering your face. That right shoulder moves back. Push into that right sit bone. Spread those right ribs apart. Don't wear any earrings, especially left shoulder earrings. Let that left shoulder blade melt down your back. Reach that right arm longer. Inhale, back up tall. Woo! Bringing those legs maybe a little closer in, but probably wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna do some half salutations here. And then have the option, we're going to do them again in a moment, maybe standing. Totally up to you. So we're going to inhale, reach those arms up. Grab onto that right wrist. Exhale, side bend right. Move those right ribs apart, right shoulder back. Inhale, reach tall. Grab that left wrist. Exhale, side bend left. Move those left ribs apart. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to low back or your hips, or maybe hold the back of your chair. We're going to take some extra time, little upper back bend. Float that breastbone up. Elbows come towards each other behind you. If low back's not happy, readjust. See if you can get that head nice and wide with your spine, not tilting in either direction. There you go. Big breath in here, reach that breastbone up higher, elbows back further. And then as you exhale, slide those hands down your legs. Hands 
might remain on your legs or they might slide down to the floor. When you can't go any further, wiggle your head, wiggle your shoulders, wiggle your hips. And we're gonna really lengthen that spine, so push into your feet, so legs are working here. Push into your hands, whether they're on your thighs or the floor. Inhale that spine longer. Buns are reaching away from the crown of our head. Shoulder blades are sliding towards our hips. Back is nice and long. Legs are active. Push into those feet even more firmly. Inhale your way up to sitting. Ah, exhale those hands down by your side. We're going to do that one more time. Inhale, sweep the arms up. This time grab that left wrist first. Exhale, lean it right. Inhale, reach it tall. Grab that right wrist. Exhale, lean it left. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hands to the back of your chair, your hips, or your low back. Inhale, head in line with your spine. Open up the upper back, chest, shoulders. Exhale, slide those hands down your legs. Wherever they land is fine. They might land on the floor, they might land on your legs. Wiggle the hips. Wiggle the shoulders. Wiggle that head. Push into those feet, legs are active. Inhale, half rise. Spine is oh so long, neck is nice and long, belly's engaged. Keep pushing into those feet. Next, inhale, come up sitting nice and tall. Exhale, those hands down by your side. Today's you a couple seated warriors. So we're going to come into warrior one. So we're going to swivel in our chair so that right knee points off to the right. Right toes point out to the right, so we're all in alignment. And then that left leg comes out behind us, straight-ish. Now keep in mind we're taking care of the knees today, so if your knees are like, this is a horrible idea, find an idea that's better. Sitting up nice and tall, see if you can turn your belly button so it's pointed the same direction as that right knee. And then in, left arm up. Right arm might be helping support you on your chair or your thigh, or maybe it comes up too. Warrior one, big breath in here. Exhale, stay here, but see what can relax without falling out of your chair. Inhale, big breath in. Exhale, hands come back down. Right knee is gonna stay right where it is. Left toes are gonna swivel. Belly button's gonna face forward. So now I'm kind of sitting in the middle of my chair. My right toes and knees are still in alignment. Left leg is still straight-ish, making sure everything's happy. And then if you're sitting back on your tailbone, roll that pelvis forward a little bit. Inhale that spine nice and long. Keep the spine long, maybe arms come out in the T. Maybe that head lifts out over those right fingertips. Nice and strong here, warrior two. We're going to reverse this warrior because we're spicy like that. Bring that left hand to left leg, lift that right palm up, and then inhale, bring that right arm up and over. Look at that right elbow so we're not sticking our head out of alignment. Next, inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhale, those arms down. Bring those legs back to center. Shakety, shakety, shakety. If your buns went to sleep, shakety, shakety. We're gonna do warrior one on the other side, so we put kind of kitty wampus there. Left knee points to the side, tracking right over those left toes. Left knee's bent, big bend. Right leg comes out behind us, straight-ish. Does not have to be all the way straight. You might have to wiggle yourself, find a comfortable position. Check on those knees. Make sure they're happy. Rotate that belly button over that left knee, or working in that direction. And then inhale, right arm comes up. Left arm might be supporting you, or maybe it comes up too. Warrior one, legs are active, arms are active, core is active. 
Lots of stuff's working here. Inhale, get nice and tall. Exhale, see what can relax. What are you not using? Inhale, get strong. Exhale, those hands back to your hips. Turn your belly button forward. Might have to readjust that right leg. Left toes and knees are still in alignment. Core is nice and active. If you're leaning one direction or the other, bring yourself back to center. You might find a little stretch in the right leg that way. Inhale those arms up in a T if you so choose. Exhale, look over those left fingertips. Maybe rolling that pelvis forward a little bit. Inhale, be strong in warrior two. Exhale, let can relax. Inhale here. Exhale, right hand down to that right leg. Lift that left palm towards the sky. Inhale, left arm straight up and over. Look at that left elbow. Reverse warrior. Next time you inhale, come back to warrior two. Exhaling your way back to center. Shake and shake. Then we're going to do a little bit more for the knees and for the feet. And we're going to revisit our warriors possibly. We'll see if we have time. But for sure our um, half salutation. So staying seated or standing behind your chair, back of your chair facing you. I like to keep my chair in front of me so that for my um, half salutations, I can walk down that chair for a little support. So we're gonna do a forward fold here. Make sure we're not gonna hit our heads on the chair. Make sure they're far enough away. Then gentle bend in the knees, fan and flex those toes. Really spread them out. Bring the little toe to the mat. Keep all the other toes up, bring the big toe to the mat. All the other toes up, bring them down. Bend and straighten the legs. Now fan and flex those toes, spread them out, spread them out, spread them out. Bring them down nice and long. Try to keep a little sliver of floor between each toe. Gentle bend in those knees. Hips are over our ankles, ribs are over our hips. Shoulders are over our ribs. Earlobes are over our shoulders. Gentle bend in our knees. Inhale, sweep those arms up. Grab that right wrist. Exhale, side bend left. Inhale, tall. Exhale, side bend right. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, hands to the low back. Inhale, open up that chest. Exhale, slide those hands down your legs. If you like to walk them down your chair, that's an option too. Make sure those knees are really bent so our body's close to those legs. It might even be laying on them. And then wiggle those hips. Wiggle the shoulders. Wiggle the head and back. Nice and firmly pushing into those feet, whether you're sitting or standing. Hands come a little bit higher. Inhale, half rise. This is where I like to really use that chair. Put weight into my hands so I can reach my buns way back, crown of my head forwards, the hello to the hamstrings. Take a peek at those feet. Make sure they're still working. Push even more firmly into the feet. If you're standing, you can bend those knees even more. Inhale your way back up. Ah, I'm alive, I'm alive. Exhale those hands down by your side. One more time. Inhale, reach those arms up. Grab that left wrist. Exhale, lean it right. Inhale, reach it tall. Exhale, lean it left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, hands to the back. Open up those chests. Exhale, sliding your hands down your legs or walking them down 
one's chair, they might end on the floor, they might end on your legs or your chair. When you can't go any further, make sure the knees have a nice big bend. And then wiggle the head, wiggle the shoulders, wiggle the hips. Push into those feet, inhale, half ride. Nice long back, shoulder blades are sliding towards our hips. Buns are reaching way out behind us. Breathing, breathing, breathing. Push into those feet. Inhale your way to standing tall. Exhale, mountain pose. In a little closer to our chair. If you're standing, keeping those chairs in front of you, I'm going to move mine just so you can see what I'm up to. We're going to do a little knee strengthening here. So the chairs are there to help with balance. Right foot comes forward. Right toes are going to go forward. So is the right knee. Left foot gets to take a step back big enough that you can bend that right knee and your knee doesn't go past your ankle. Right toes can turn whichever way they want. If this isn't comfortable, you can even be up on the ball of that right foot. Then we're going to take our right hand to the outside of that right knee. So we have to lean forward a little bit and we're just going to pulse that knee outward into that hand. Core is engaged. And we're going to put right hand on our chair if we're holding on. Left hand to the inside of that left knee. Leaning forward, core's engaged. Knee pulses in. You might notice a little quad action, a little glute action. All those leg muscles getting nice and strong to help support those knees. Coming back to center, body's nice and tall. You can hold onto your chair, push into that front foot, push off the back foot. Inhale, stepping forward. Shake out that right leg. Bend and straighten the knees. And then left toes, left knee straight forward. As big of a step back with that right foot as you need so you can bend the left knee without letting it extend past your ankle. Again, you can be in a warrior one stance where your back heel's down, or you can rotate up on the ball of your foot. Body's nice and tall. Left hand to the outside of that left knee. Push that knee out against that hand. If you're going so far that that knee hurts, scale it back. Don't make it as big. Right hand can be holding onto that chair for support. Holding onto the chair with your left hand. Right hand comes to the inside of that knee. Push that knee against the hand. Core still engaged. Body's tall. And inhale, nice and tall through the body. You can hold on with those hands. Push into the left foot. Step that right foot forward, shake out that left leg, bend and straighten the knees. So again, you can do that seated. You can do the next thing seated or standing. Chair can be in front of you for balance. A little more legs than feet. So holding onto your chair or those hands can be by your side or on your hips. Body's tall. You can also be doing this seated. When we straighten our legs, you're going to lift your knees. So we're going to bend the knees, inhale the heels up with knees bent, straighten the legs, heels come down, bend the knees, heels up, straighten the legs, heels down, core's engaged, bend the knees, heels up, straighten the knees, heels down, two more times, bend those knees, heels up, Straighten the knees, heels down, one more, bend the knees, heels up, straighten the knees, heels down. Now we're going to reverse it, heels up, keep them up, bend those knees, keep them bent, heels come down, straighten the legs, heels up, bend the knees, heels down, straighten the legs, heels up, bend the knees. Heels down, straighten the legs, two more, heels up, bend the knees, heels down, straighten the 
legs. Last time, heels up, bend your knees, heels down, straighten the legs, lean that weight back into your heels, pop those toes apart. Bend your knees, make sure your knees can go out as wide as your toes are. Then we're gonna do those same actions pulsing. So your chair might be right in front of you. You can also be seated. So we're gonna bend those knees and just pulse down. Body's nice and tall. Keep those knees bent. Now we're gonna bring the heels up, up, up. Keep the heels up. We're gonna straighten the legs. Hold it, hold it, hold it. And then we're gonna bring those heels down and up. How are the calves? Are they alive? Heels come down. And we're gonna flow with it. So turned out, heels up. Heels stay up, bend the knees. Heel, knees stay bent, heels come down. Straighten the legs. Heels up, bend the knees. Heels down, straighten the legs. Last time, heels up, bend the knees. Heels down, straighten the legs. Shake out those legs. A little bit more for the quads and the glutes, so chair in front of you if you need it for balance. If you're seated, as we pulse down, you're going to pulse those knees up one at a time. So we'll do it twice, and you can do both legs. So we're going to come into a different type of squat, chair pose in yoga. So we're going to take a big breath in so our body's tall. As we exhale, bend the knees, but bring your buns back this time. That's gonna bring your chest forward. So you're kind of leaning forward. And then we're just gonna pulse those buns back and down. If you're seated, you're pulsing the right leg up. If you're feeling it in the quads right here, fantastic. If you're not, a little lower, a little further back with the buns. Weight should be far enough back, you can see your toes. Push into those feet, inhale up tall, shakey shake. One more time, so if you're seated, the left knee is pulsing up. So everybody inhale, get tall. Exhale those bones back and down, so chest gets to come forward. Pulse right here. Take a peek, see if you can see those toes. You might even be able to wiggle them. We want our weight more in the heels. So those glutes are helping out the quads. Are you breathing? If you can't feel it yet, a little lower, a little further back. Push into those feet. Inhale, stand up. Shakey, shake. Then we're going to stretch the feet the other direction. So flipping those right toes over, bring them behind you. If you're sitting in your chair, bring it to the side of you. And then take a peek over that right shoulder. We want our heel and our toes right in line with our shin bone. So we don't want them sticking out either direction. If you need more weight, slide that foot forward. Core is engaged, we're standing nice and tall. We've got that chair in front of us. We're gonna turn this into a warrior three. So standing on that left leg, we're gonna straighten out that right leg. Maybe right toes are still on the floor. Maybe that foot comes up. Maybe body goes down as leg comes up. You can hold onto that chair. And then with your right hip bone pointed at the mat, pulse that right leg higher. Inhale, standing up nice and tall. Weight on that right foot, shake out the left. Now flip over those left toes, stretching the top of that left foot. So if you're seated, your foot's alongside your chair. Core's engaged. Peek over that left shoulder. We want our toes and our heel in line with our knee and our shin bone. If you need a little more weight on it, you can sneak that leg in. We're gonna turn it into a warrior three. So straightening that left leg, you can stay on those left toes or you can float that leg up. Maybe you hinge at the hips. 
If you're hinging, left hip bone's pointed at the mat, pulse that left leg higher. You'll be holding onto that chair. Are you breathing? tall, weight on that left leg, shake out the right. We're going to get those glutes one more time, right toes out behind us, finding your warrior three. Again, you can be tall, foot can be on or off the mat, you can lean it forward. We're going to bend and straighten that left leg. You decide how big of a bend you want that to be. If you're leaning forward, try to get that right hip bone pointed at the floor. Standing up tall, right foot on the mat. Shake out that left leg. One more warrior three, left foot out behind us. Body tall. Maybe left toes float up. Maybe leg comes higher, body comes lower. Bend and straighten that right leg. You decide how much. Inhale, standing up nice and tall. Both, or left foot to the mat so you can shake out that right foot. Now both feet to the mat. Get your chair in front of you. Exhale, forward fold. Hands can be on your chair or your thighs. Stick your buns right. Give them a wiggle. See if you can get into the, some of those muscles we just worked. Come back to center. And then stick those buns left. Give them a wiggle. Push into those feet, come back to center, standing up nice and tall. Coming back to seated on your chair. So we're going to sit side saddle, facing the right. Flex those left toes, cross left ankle over right ankle or left ankle over right knee. Make sure left knee is happy with your plan. Left toes are flexed. Inhale, get tall. As you exhale, take your belly button, turn it towards the back of your chair, and then follow that twist up your spine, finishing with that head. Big breath in here in a twist. Exhale, see if the upper body can just melt a little bit. Inhale, unwind head first. Then we're going to say hello to those hips. So maybe leaning forward, maybe even leaning a little left. Find a stretch. If it hurts, back off. Big deep breaths. Feel free to wiggle the head and neck. Push into that right foot so you can inhale, sitting up tall. Exhale that left leg down. On the ball of that left foot, turn your knee in and out, in and out, in and out. Walk yourself to the other side. Swing side saddle towards the left. Flex those right toes, cross right ankle over left, or right ankle over left knee. Body's nice and tall. Check on those knees. Make sure they're happy with your choice. Inhale, get even longer through the back. As you exhale, belly button turns toward the back of your chair. Hands can help intensify that twist. Finishing it off with your head, maybe looking left. Stay twisted. Inhale, get longer through the spine. Exhale, let those shoulders just slide down your back. Inhale, head first, back to center. Unwind that spine. And then finding that hip stretch on the right, so maybe leaning a little forward. Maybe a little more weight on that right sit bone. Or off of the left sit bone. And then analyzing here if anything hurts, readjust. Back up. Still 
control breathing. Pushing into that left foot that's on the floor. Inhale, sitting up nice and tall. Exhale, right leg down on the ball of that foot. We're just going to turn our right knee in and out, in and out, in and out. Working your way back to your chair like a somewhat normal person. And then settling your way back into that seat. Wiggling and squirming. Get yourself nice and comfy. Closing your eyes. Letting our mind clear itself. Any thoughts come in and just let them wander back out or float back out. that breath moving, maybe sip in a little extra air, and as you exhale, noticing that air moving out of your body, making that exhale just a little bigger, bringing your hands to heart center in prayer, or maybe resting them on your heart, thinking back to that intention that you set for class. Giving yourself a smile for taking the time and the energy to work towards whatever it is. Taking a moment to thank your body for everything that it is able to do. It was an honor to spend this time practicing with you. Namaste. So if you're feeling fantastic, Stop right where you are. If you're feeling like you need a little more pep in your step, a little more energy, we're going to do just a little chi shower. So starting with massaging your head. And then gently, because you have brains in there, tap your head. Hopefully you have brains in there. Tap your forehead. Gently, gently, gently. Tap down those cheekbones. Tap down your neck. Coming right on top of those collarbones. Tap to center. Back out. Right above the collarbones, I should say. Sorry, not on the collarbones. Now right below the collarbones. Then we're going to take that right hand, tap the left shoulder, tap down the left arm, tap the left palm, up the inside of that left arm, get your armpit, down the right, or left side, outside of those legs, feet, inside of the legs, belly, chest, drop that right arm, left arm comes to right shoulder, down the right arm, right palm, the inside of that right arm, right arm fit, down the outside of the body on the right, outside of the leg, foot, back at the inside of the leg, belly, chest, cross those arms over both shoulders, now uncross them, chest, belly, Top of the thighs, knees, shins, top of the feet, back up through the top, belly, chest, back up the neck, the face, gentle on the head. Big breath in here. Exhale, arms down, let it out. All right, go forth and do something fantastic. Thanks for practicing with me.